Emmanuel Arinze Ifajuna was born around 1937 and was executed by Emeka Ojuhu on 25th September 1967. He won an Olympic gold medal in the 1954 Olympic Games in Canada, becoming the first black African to win a major international competition. He was one of the first university graduates to join the Nigerian army and underwent military training in the United Kingdom. He rose quickly within the military ranks and reached the position of a major in January 1966. People often think that Major Kaduna Nzogu was the brain behind the first military coup. Major Ifajuna was the brain behind the coup. Emeka Ojuhu later confirmed this in one of his interviews. It was and is still believed that Ifajuna killed the Prime Minister Abubakar Tafala Belewa and his commanding officer. He also killed the Finance Minister Festus Okotie. According to the coup plotters, they wanted to finish off the first Republicans and make Obafemi Awolowo president. That coup was foiled by General Agui Ironsi and Emeka Ojuhu, both Igbo. Ifajuna then fled to Ghana where he was welcomed by President Kwame Nkrumah, the then president of Ghana. Nkrumah's regime was overthrown shortly afterward and Ifajuna returned to Nigeria during the war after assurance from Emeka Ojuhu that his life would not be at risk. Ifajuna again became involved in the military, this time within the Biafran army. Ifajuna, Victor Banjo, Philip Alare, and Sam Abam began negotiating with the federal Nigerian officials through a British agent, hoping to bring a ceasefire, overthrow Ojuhu, kill Gowon, and then make Obafemi Awolowo president. Ojuhu uncovered this plot and sentenced the four to death by firing squad for treason. Ifajuna claimed the plan was to preserve civilian lives in Enugu from oncoming assault by federal troops which he arranged with Nigerian army and British officials. He and his three co-conspirators were executed on 25th September 1967. Enugu, the Biafran capital, was captured by federal Nigerian forces two days later. Emmanuel Ifajuna achieved a lot for Africa. But his betrayal of his own people for money, power and ambition finished him off. Today, no Igbo man wants to name his son Ifajuna. Nzogu received a proper burial, but Ifajuna received nothing. Now the question is, do you think that Emmanuel Ifajuna deserved to die? Please leave your opinion in the comment section below and also do well to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.